these are the solutions to the homework assignment in 4-3 in pre-calculus. So I'm just going to go through these. I'm just going to tap through them, and you can pause this video at any time so that you can analyze what's going on in each of the problems. Problem number six, you get, we're given these two different triangles. But notice that they're, the, they're similar triangles, one um, that this one is just half of uh, this uh, triangle. Yeah, it's all the sides divided by two. So they're going to have the same trigonometric ratios. And this one, uh, this one is just one-fourth of the previous triangle. So once again, they're going to have the same ratio of sides, which is what trig is all about, is ratio of sides. If the sine is two-thirds, then we have the opposite over the hypotenuse. We can figure out the third side and get all, three, all six trigonometric functions. With cosine, we have the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Find the third side. And we have all six trigonometric functions. And then we have tangent. Now, this is a little bit different, so I'm going to look at that as it's really 3 over 1. And tangent, remember, is the, the y over the x. Okay, so it would be the opposite over the hypotenuse. Anyway, you, I'm actually not the opposite over the adjacent, excuse me. Find the third side and write your trigonometric functions. For cosecant, remember that, that sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so co and cosecant is the reciprocal, so, so cosecant is the hypotenuse over the opposite. So we've got our the, the first two sides, we find our third side, and we write our trigonometric functions from that. Uh, we have a sine of 60 degrees is root 3 over 2, and cosine of 6 degrees is 1 half. So I think of that, because in the unit circle then, I would have those coordinates, 1 half comma root 3 over 2. I, and I like to think of these as a unit circle problem. And so I draw a triangle, and you'll notice that what I did, because I'm thinking about this in the unit circle with this angle here. So when I draw the corresponding right triangle, the hypotenuse is always going to be 1, because in the unit circle, that hypotenuse is the radius of the unit circle, which is 1 unit. And so I can answer all the trigonometric function uh, questions based on that triangle that I just drew. For cosecant being 3 and secant being uh, 3 root 2 over 4, I think about th that cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. And secant is the reciprocal of cosine. And so I figured out what my sine and cosine would be. And again, I think of it as the unit circle. And so I can draw my right triangle with a hypotenuse of 1. Granted, you could have written this side as 1, and this hypotenuse is 3, and this side is 2 root 2 with the hypotenuse of 3. But remember, that, that would just give you a similar triangle that has the same ratios. So I, I like thinking of it with the unit circle uh, a little bit easier myself. Now, we've got this last part of this of number 19, secant of 90 minus theta. And we'll have to revisit this, but this happens to be one of the... Um, uh, co-function identities and co-function identities are basically when we're talking about complementary angles an angle that would add uh, to make 90 degrees so when we have 90 minus theta I'm asking for the complement of theta and that identity is that the secant of 90 minus theta is the same thing as cosecant theta so and cosecant theta is 1 over sine so to answer this question this one right here is going to be 1 over sine, the reciprocal of sine, so I'm going to get 3. Look at the back of your textbook, the back cover, the back hard page, and you will find a whole list of identities. They're in the chapter also that we're reading, but um, there's a list of identities there. Again, I, I like to, we said don't use, you know, no, do this from memory. Well, in memory I know that 60 degrees has, in the unit circle, has those coordinates, and cosine is the x. Tangent of pi over 6, well, I think of its coordinates, and pi over 6 is the coordinates root 3 over 2, comma 1 half. And tangent, whoops, I did that one wrong. Hold on just a minute. Sorry about that. So tangent of pi over 6, well, tan, those are the coordinates for pi over 6, and tangent happens to be y divided by x, and so you're going to end up with 1 over root 3, which we rationalize the denominator, and we get root 3 over 3. Cosecant of 30, and remember that cosecant is 1 over sine, and the sine is 1 half, so 1 over 1 half, or the reciprocal of 1 half, I should say, is 2. 
pi over 4, I love those because your x and your y are always exactly the same thing. It doesn't matter which one it is, although sine does happen to be your y, um, so it's root 2 over 2. Cotangent of 45 degrees, well, we have the same coordinate point, 40, um, 45 degrees has the same coordinates, root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. And cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. But tangent is just the ratio of these two, the x and the y, which is 1. And the reciprocal of 1 is just still just 1. Cosine of 45, we have the same coordinate points. It's root 2 over 2. Coordinate points for pi over 3 is 1 half root 3 over 2. And the sine is the y. Cosecant of 45 with the coordinates of root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. And remember, cosecant is 1 over sine. So we're going to get root 2. These problems are pro um, to put in your calculator. The uh, main thing is to make sure that the mode on your calculator is in degrees, since these were degrees. These are just simply plunge them into your calculator and write what you've got. Um, but the question is, why are these the same? Why is sine of 10 degrees and cosine of 80 degrees the same value? Well, that's because... Notice that 10 and 80 are complementary angles. They add up to 90. And this is saying that the sine of an angle is equal to the cosine of its complement. And the cosine of an angle is equal to sine of its complement. The same thing with tangent and cotangent. They are cofunction identities. That tangent of theta is equal to cotangent of its complement and cotangent of theta is equal to tangent of its complement. So these are some identities that are good to memorize. This problem here, we say that y is 1 half, and it, the, it was telling us the whole time that this is always going to be in quadrant 1, because it was between 0 and 90 degrees, or 0 and pi over 2. They wanted both degree and radians, you needed to answer both of those. And, we've got same thing there. So we've got our angles, I'm looking at the unit circles to figure out my angles and my radians. Again, this is all supposed to be from memory, not using your calculator. So you're trying to rem memorize where all these things are, either in the unit circle or you can remember their coordinate points. I like to think unit circle to remember all of this stuff. And we're almost getting to the end of this page, number 52. And here's another problem that you need to use your calculator for. If the sine of an angle, we know what the ratio is, you're going to use the inverse button on your calculator. Sine to the negative one. This is not um, a negative one degree. This means the inverse of sine. So we're going to be talking about inverse functions. You plug it into the calculator. and one, you have to make sure your calculator is in the degree mode to answer degrees. Then you have to change the mode on your calculator to radians and do the same problem in radians. And when you do that, you're going to get the answers. Remember to use the symbol degree for degrees, and then no symbol means that's in radians. Those are the same angle, same angle of rotation, just one in degrees and one in radians. You're going to use the inverse for cosine on your calculator, first degree mode, and then radian mode, and you have those. In 58, you're given this picture. Well, we need, we need to know that our ratio in a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle is we've got the 1, the root 3, and the 2. And I can see, therefore, if this is the ratio of 2, we multiplied everything in this triangle times 6. So we have the other two sides there. And that shorter side, or actually the Whoops, I made another mistake. Hold on a minute. There, I fixed those ratios. I had the wrong things going on here. That this is a 60 degree angle, so the side opposite is the root 3 ratio, and this is the 1. Everything's still multiplied by 6, and so the sides of that triangle are now in the proper order. And it, I believe in the picture, it was this side down here that was asking for x, so x equals 6. In this next picture, I have the ratios done properly. And this one, we can see that, oh, this side that's root 3 goes with 32. And this side down here is the x. So this would be x, x root 3, and 2x. And so I said that 32 equals x root 3. And we can solve for x in this fashion. 
and then make sure, making sure we rationalize the denominator, we have the answer for x. And that's the end of your homework assignment.